Osteomyelitis is infection of bone. It's not common disease, it's rare, but it has serious and severe complications like bone death and septic arthritis. Usually it is caused by bacteria. Sometimes it can caused by fungi, but most commonly it is caused by bacteria Staphylococcus aureus. Sometimes methicillin resistance bacteria methicillin resistance Staphylococcus aureus. You can see on the images infection of bone and Staphylococcus aureus. What can be cause of this disease? Uh, this bacteria can spread through blood uh, because of trauma or bone fractures or deep puncture wounds. This can be called bone infection. And bone infection is most common among vulnerable people such as children and elderly and immunosuppressed people such as people with diabetes or uh, people with in immunosuppression therapy. Risk factors are orp orthopedic surgery, diabetes, recent trauma, and immunosuppression. Symptoms include severe pain, fever, chills, redness, and swelling of affected area. They are classical inflammatory signs and dominant symptom is severe pain. Now let's say what is diagnosis and treatment. Osteomyelitis is diagnosed by patient history and imaging uh, such as x-ray and CT scan. For definitive diagnosis, gold standard of diagnosis is biopsy. Treatment is antibiotics uh, such as vancomycin and doptamycin for methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus, uh, cefazolin, ceftriaxone, and nacillin also used. And if treatment will be timely, prognosis is good. In many cases, prognosis is good. But in 20% cases and sometimes more, uh, osteomyelitis can become chronic condition and chronic condition needs regular treatment. A differential diagnosis of osteomyelitis is with bone tumors and fractures. Now let's summarize. Osteomyelitis is infection of bone. It's severe disease actually and causes severe symptoms. Usually it's caused by Staphylococcus aureus or methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus and treatment is difficult and challenging because methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus is resi resistant to many antibiotics. It usually affects children and uh, elderly. Uh, they are vulnerable segment and risk factors are recent trauma, orthopedic surgery, diabetes, and immunosuppression. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you for your interest. Thank you for your watching. If you like my videos, please thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye for now.